We all love to save time and stay organized. So that's why in this video, I'm going to be sharing a tool called TidyCal, which is my favorite calendar tool in 2022. And there are a few reasons why. So to start, TidyCal is very affordable. It's just a $29 one-time fee, whereas most other calendar tools out there cost upwards of $100 per year. And it doesn't stop there. TidyCal also has almost all of the features that some of these other calendar tools are offering. So it's really become a no-brainer for me to switch over to TidyCal, and I wanna showcase the app today and see what you guys think. If at any point you wanna get this lifetime deal for TidyCal, click the link below in the description or in the top pinned comment, and that'll take you to a page where you can pay a one-time $29 and you'll get TidyCal forever and all of the updates that come along with it. I've had it for a few months now and they've already made some significant updates and improvements since I got on board and I got all of those. I got access to all of them. So uh, I'm not making this video because this company approached me. I'm making this video because I love this tool. I just don't want you guys to think that this is like a super biased tutorial or anything like that. I've tried all the calendar tools and if I found a better one, I really would be sharing my favorite one with you guys. So hope you guys enjoy this. So what you see right here is what someone would see if I sent them a link to book into my TidyCal calendar. This is connected with my Google Calendar. So as you can see, Sundays, Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays are also blocked out. And there are specific days that people can book me on. Okay, and if they click into the day in specific, like Thursday here, you'll see that this is for a 15 minute slot. They are presented with some times. So if they wanted to book me for 10 a.m. on Thursday, they could click this button right here, and then they could simply enter their name and their email, and then it's a question, how did you find me? Through YouTube. And what is the purpose of the call you're booking with me? And they could enter that right here. Okay, and then they could hit book event. Once they hit book event, I can either redirect them to another page or I can just send them to this page right here where it says booking confirmed. And they have the option to add it to their Google Calendar, Outlook, Office 365, Yahoo Calendar, or they can download the .ics file and upload it to any other calendar. It also tells them that there was an email invitation that was sent to them where they can add the event to their calendar. So in that email invitation, they've also been given a Zoom link and they get the Zoom link right here as well so that they know exactly where the call will take place. They can click into this and it will take them directly to the Zoom call or they can reference the email that they just received and they can click it from there. So here's a look at the back end of my TidyCal account. I have a normal meet me meeting that takes 15 minutes. I have an onboarding meeting that takes 45 minutes and a strategy session meeting that takes 60 minutes. So all of these are available to also embed anywhere that I would like. I could copy this uh, onboarding, I could embed this, copy code. And I could embed this anywhere. I could put it on my website. I could put it in a Notion page. I could put it pretty much anywhere online where you're able to embed something. I could hit copy code. And then if I head over to a website that we're editing right here, I could simply paste this as text into this text editor. And then if I hit update, you won't see it right away here because we're still in the text editor. But if I go to the front end, of the site and I preview it, you'll see that the calendar puts itself right inside of the website. So you don't have to send somebody to an external link. They just get direct access to your calendar right here and they can pick a time and they can fill all of this out right from your website. And you can keep the person within your predefined website or your marketing system. So what you are going to do is Open up your TidyCal account, and as I said, if you don't have an account yet, you can use the link below to create your account. It's only $29 one time, opposed to going with something like Calendly or Acuity Scheduler, which is upwards of $100 per year in perpetuity. So yeah, it's, it's a much better deal, and it does pretty much everything that those other tools do. But what you're going to do once you do have your account is hit Create New Booking Type, and on this end, you can create an event name. So general meeting, this could just be a basic meeting and you can add an event description, a meeting type to discuss anything under the sun. And then we can set an event duration. So how long do we want these meetings to go? 
how long of a time block do we want for this? So I could go 20 minutes. And then this minimum meeting padding here, this is how much time you want between meetings. So if this was set to zero, that means that meetings could be booked in right up next to each other. Like they could literally butt up right next to each other. If you had one meeting, you would have to go directly to the next meeting. But with meeting padding, what you get is you get uh, a little bit of time between. So you could say, I want 10 minutes, at least 10 minutes between my meetings. So now it's going to block out any times that would be right after this event duration. And how far out can users book? This is like how many days in advance they can book. So let's just say we want them to be able to book 30 days in advance of today's date. Then down here, you can add some times that you are available. And if you uncheck it, that will make you unavailable for those specific days. So if Tuesday and Thursday were my only day I wanted available, and let's say I only wanna be available from eight to 10 a.m on Tuesday, I could change it to eight to 10. And then I could also add a time, let's say I'm also available from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. So now it would just show my availability between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. and one and two. And if there was anything booked in there on my Google Calendar for any of these times, it would also block that time out because this does integrate with your calendar. So it's not going to create a conflicting event if you already have something in your calendar. I'll just leave this one at 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then you can add some questions down here. So where did you learn about my services? I could make that required so they have to answer. And then here we could add a redirect URL, like I could redirect them to my channel. That's just one of the things that I could do here. I could also redirect them to a custom made thank you page on my website. So that's pretty nice to be able to do that. So after they book the meeting, this is where it will take them. And then if you want, you can charge for the event. You can set a dollar amount and you can choose which one you want to charge through PayPal or Stripe. You do have to set that up over on the integrations page, which is a simple page, pretty easy to set up. You can put your Stripe keys in right here or your PayPal email in right here. And while you're down here, you can also connect Zapier, which allows you to connect TidyCal to like any other app that you could possibly think of. I'm gonna turn off charge for this event and let's make this private so that it only shows if I send somebody a link to it, it's not gonna be available on my public booking page. And then I'm gonna hit create booking type. And it was as simple as that. If I go back now, you'll see I have general meeting here. If I copy the link and I send it to somebody, this is what they will see. And as you can see here, just like we said it, one to 1.30 is the only available time on this particular Tuesday because my morning is busy on that day. But if you look here on the 15th, you'll see that I have that morning open because there was no conflict in my Google Calendar. So this is a pretty neat setup and it makes it a lot easier to get people to book meetings with you. And then all they have to do is enter their name here and how they learned about the service. And then they can book the event and it redirects them to my YouTube channel. So this has just been a brief showcase on what TidyCal is capable of. I think that it works a lot better than some of the other competing calendar tools out there. And I actually made a video comparing it to Calendly one of the more popular booking tools. And you can check that video out by clicking up in the corner of this video on the card that should pop up right about now. Check out that video if you wanna see why you might go with a Calendly option, even though it is a lot more expensive. Um, and if you guys do want to go ahead and move forward and use TidyCal, use the link in my description below or in the top pinned comment. All right, with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.